I don't know how to start it. This is the first video I'm making in 2022. Can I get a round of applause for nothing? We're just doing my job, really. <laughs> it's the ninth right now. I've taken off all of this year so far. I was only going to take a week, but I just, I don't, I don't want to. <laughs> I honestly went so hard the tail end of last year. I just want to keep watching Demon Slayer. I started that. I, I, I want to keep playing my games, but I have to, I have to, I have to pay bills. I got, I got a house now. <laughs> Over the last couple of years, Nintendo keep getting celebrities to do commercials for them and the Switch. I don't want to be that guy, but I feel like everyone I watch feels super fake. I don't believe Christina Aguilera is playing Pokemon on Switch. There's something about the commercials that feels so fakey dakey. We... You, watching at home, and I are going to decide whether or not it's real or fake. I think I found most of them, at least the ones that I've seen. But you know what I've been doing on my break from YouTube? Oh, just playing so much Dragon Quest Tact. This video is sponsored by Square Enix. I don't know how I keep getting to work with Square Enix. Fans of the Dragon Quest series, like myself, will love this turn-based tactics take on the franchise, where as you play, you befriend, collect, and train iconic Dragon Quest monsters, featuring collaborations with the main series Dragon Quest games. Like, I managed to randomly collect Deborah from Dragon Quest V. Dragon Quest Tact is a free-to-download, free-to-play mobile tactic RPG available in the App Store and and Google Play. But um, make sure you have a solid lineup of monsters, types, and abilities, because once you head into battle, the deep tactical elements might give you a run for your money, although it's free, so maybe not. <laughs> you have all different rarity types, strengths, and an ever-growing list of freely obtainable monsters, which means you can grow your roster without ever spending money at all. And this is yet another fantastic adventure within the world of Dragon Quest. It's directed by the original writer and designer of the games we love. Dragon Quest Tact released globally one year ago. So right now there is a ton of one year anniversary celebration rewards and events to jump on. Whether you've played before or not, now is the best time to play. There's a one year anniversary quest where you just gotta be one little baby slime and the game rewards you with 3,000 free gems. Right now, you can get 10 free new scouts daily, up to 100 scouts total. And even things in the in-game store on sale, like the Super Anniversary set. They even sent me these little toys to unbox, which is super cute. I'm a huge fan of Dragon Quest, so again, getting to work with Square Enix and getting sent fun free little gifts, it's so awesome. So now, you gotta do me a favor and click the link in the description. Download Dragon Quest Tack for free and enjoy all of the one year anniversary celebration rewards. All right, so first up we have Christina Aguilera, titled, and her family stay connected with the Nintendo Switch. Remember chat, chat, I'm not live. Remember comments, section member pit what do what do you call people on i've been gone nine days not nine years real or fake let me know below slow down hold on yeah, climb up the hill ah! oh my gosh how'd you get so good when are you coming home i'll be there tomorrow we're gonna have game night First thing I'm immediately noticing, Nintendo themselves shot this commercial and they still couldn't convince Christina and her son to use the Nintendo online app to talk. Okay, Christina, we're ready on stage. Okay, I'll be ready. And this is just completely off topic, but I can't believe that that is her son. I mean, that kid's like 13. She still looks like she's in her 20s. This is completely irrelevant conversation. <laughs> I could see Christina playing Animal Crossing. I don't think that's her game, but it is cute that they've made the avatar look kind of like her. Can't wait till you see what I'm cooking up. One thing that immediately jumps out as fake to me when I watch any of these, I've tried shooting gameplay off of a Switch before. You really can't do it because the LED lights overexpose the camera and make everything else around the frame super dark. There's no nice way of doing it. Whenever they do these commercials, they always have to overimpose the footage. I'm such a Debbie Downer on this already. <laughs> Guys, I'm home! Ah! Dummy! Hi, Mom. Ah, hi, Matthew. I 100% believe that her kids play Switch. I'm ready. I think I'm gonna win. <laughs> no, I don't even know what this game is. 
Wait, am I the fake? I don't know what it is, but it has to be a Nintendo IP because Nintendo commercials always have their first party games. So it has to be something that they've released. Staying close no matter how far I am. That's my way to play. All right, so I already had a lot to say about the first one. Do we believe Christina Aguilera plays Animal Crossing in between her shows? I would like to. We have another one with her. Maybe maybe this will sway us one way or another. Can you show me what you're playing? I'm gonna look for a Pokemon. Whoa, look at you go. Can I try to... <gasps> I see something over there. I caught one! It's Pikachu. It's Pikachu. Of all the Pokemon for them to randomly discover, they just happen to find Pikachu for the commercial. How perfect. The stars align. And I'm sorry, if Christina and her daughter found Pikachu, they would say something like, It's Pikachu! They had no idea. I think that's my main issue with the commercials themselves. Maybe these celebrities do play Switch with their families, but like, I want to see that. Show us actually that. Are you ready for me? I'm ready. Oh, okay. Okay. Apparently not. I said that Nintendo only puts first party. Among Us is in this commercial. Man, Among Us is insane how much it's blown up. Or like a little indie gem. It's being used in this commercial to sell the Switch with Christina Aguilera. Also, Christina would never wear the sailor hat. I'm calling that out right now. He was looking a little sus. Said like you've never played the game before. Sus. Hello, Eddie Rock is here. How are you? <laughs> Ready for our favorite? Let's do oh, this. That was interesting. On this like pause frame here, you can kind of see that the image that they've superimposed is coming off of the edge of the switch. And then when they click it in, the switch moves a little in the dock and the gameplay doesn't really follow. Oh no, it's so averagely done. Even on this freeze frame, you can see that it's like slanted. Oh, this was not good. Get ready guys. Three, two, one. Same go. goes for the TV shots. I hate to break this illusion, to all of you, but that TV is off. <laughs> <laughs> no! I think they actually do have the family and the kids playing the game to make it feel more authentic. And then once they're done and they've got the reactions, they just do a behind the head shot of the TV turned off. And then in editing, they just slice them between so it makes it look like they're playing, but they're not. That's why this part of the commercial to me feels way more authentic than any of the handheld footage when they're like playing among us. I think overall they're good commercials. I'm not here to critique them. I am actually, that's the whole point of this video. Seven out of 10. Now we have Brie Larson. Captain Marvel playing the Switch. I think Brie is actually a gamer, I want to say. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's talked a lot about video games. And I think that's why she ended up doing this commercial. It's Fortnite. Hello? Hey, Brie. Producers are asking for notes on this script. I remember this commercial. It's super cringe. All right, let's keep going. How do you think it's coming along? No! So... No notes, then. I think it looks fantastic. I really do. I love it. Uh, yes! Wait, Bree, is it a yes or is it a no? Oh, uh, what script? I'm kidding. But seriously? That yes reaction was so much like the director off camera. All right, now look at the game as if something really exciting has happened and just ye yell yes with some gusto. Uh, yes! Wait, Bree, is it a- That's great, Bree. Great. Uh, no need to do it again. We'll move on. I believe this. Unless it's just good marketing and Nintendo was like, all right, Bree's a gamer. She's really fit. Let's use her to advertise Ring Fit. But I could also see it go in the... That's a huge TV. Look how small that Switch is. Either that or they asked her if she wanted to do it and they asked her what game she plays and she was like, I play Ring Fit. And they're like, perfect. Perfect timing. <laughs> Your turn. Well, you left the room without giving him the leg strap. That's kind of mean. Oh! Hi. Once again, they're not using the Nintendo online app. You know, I was thinking about how mom had that rule that whoever finished their homework first got to play Animal Crossing first. And both of us would rush home to see who could finish the fastest. I think I got straight A's that year. I don't think you did. <laughs> <laughs> that conversation felt very organic. I think that's the first handheld part that I fully believe. I mean, again, they're not actually playing the game. But that story that they just shared about Animal Crossing, I think that's 100% a real story. I actually would give Bree's commercial an 8 out of 10. I think it was better than the Christina ones. I really liked it. I think it was good. All right, Jessica Alba's I have not seen. Side note, as a young man growing up in the in in the world, Jessica Alba was um oh oh <laughs> 
All right, so Jessica's also playing Ring Fit. I feel like they could have found something else for one of these two to do. Hey, baby girl. Hey, Dad. Are we still on for golf tomorrow? There you go. Do you want me to go now? Or do you want me to? You ready for golf tomorrow? Nobody says it like that. I, like, I say to Kim, like, you ready to explore some caves tomorrow? Are we still locked in to mine some diamonds tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Bob. Uh, you, you, you still want to beat the crap out of each other tomorrow? Ha. Huh. Yeah, I can't wait to punch you in the face a as Captain Falcon. All right, see you tomorrow, Bob. <laughs> How old am I that I'm still, this is still the way that I use. You know, I heard kids these days when they mimic like being on the phone, they do this now. Hello. And here I am 31 years old and I'm still rotary dialing my fake phones. <laughs> Wait, 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 hold, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you can do that in Mario Golf? I don't, I've never done that. I didn't know that was even an option. I'm so confused by this. Also, I like that her dad is full sending the run. Jessica's just there doing this. Her dad's like, God, <laughs> the feet as well. I love when old people play games. It's the best. Hey, guys. Haven, hey, I need it. you. You got it. Cool. I wonder how they did this because the TV once again is superimposed, but he's standing in front of it. That's either got to be a it's green screen. You can see the green bouncing off his arm here and the green reflecting off her hair. Yeah, I mean, it's whatever. I was just I was curious. We are dancing. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm doing this. Ready? Ready? <laughs> Yeah, once again, that's super organic and authentic. Clearly, again, it's the same thing. When they do the behind the head shots, that's green screen. But I honestly think they have them playing the game for the front shots. I mean, it'd be the easiest way to keep them all in sync. Be the easiest way to like have them all learn a dance real quick. And you can tell there's actual joy on their face. They're just having fun playing the game. And I love that. These are the moments that feel really authentic. <laughs> Moving along with the fun. That's our way to play Nintendo Switch. Okay, that one was fine. I think it's on level with Christina's. I'll give it about a seven. I think Breeze is still my favorite so far. Annie Murphy. Yes. Okay, well, that was a bit, that was a bit much. I mean, I love my Switch, but I've never woke up with a fresh copy of Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 from GameStop and gone. Yes. <laughs> Today's the day. Also, I'm sorry, you ran away from the Switch. Maybe it was coffee. Maybe it was like, yes, coffee. And then I guess I'll play some Switch. I mean, I'm getting paid for it. Again with the ring fit. You can't give these ladies something else to play. I mean, it's a great game and they're all fit. So I guess, yeah, I mean, all right, sure. Now chess that you've beaten yet? I wonder if they have a special award for defeating your daughter. Ooh, Mimo with the shade. I really feel like I'm picking apart the editing, but you see this message come in on this screen here. And then when she pulls it up, you see it continuing to fall in on a different screen. At least stay consistent with your fakey dakies. Wait. They put a lot of work into that transition right there. I kind of liked that. That was fun. Rainbow Road, baby. Hope you're ready to lose, Murphy. Once again, no Nintendo Online is- Wait, why would he be all the way over there? Do you not want to see him? You have a coffee table right there. Why? Who? What? Nailed it. I hope it rains again tomorrow. Oh, it's raining. I didn't even notice. That didn't really translate for me. Did you guys get that? It's raining, so she gets to stay home all day and play games, is what that yes is. She still runs away from the Switch. That is a terrifying freeze frame. That is a spookiness right there. I am going to give this one like a six. There was no point where it felt like she was actually playing because every single shot was like manufactured in a certain way. Like, for example, this one where she's celebrating, it ends with her cinematically turning the light off. You know, it was all that little dance and like move over to the light that was all planned out for the shot. That one, I had a hard time believing any of it. Another person I am a massive fan of, Neil Patrick Harris. Is this seat taken? <laughs> oh, boy. You think you can beat me? <laughs> he had fire in his heart when he said that. Think you can beat me? Dad, there is no way you're beating me right now. Not a chance. So all you're gonna do is play this game. Night and day. 
until you finally beat the kids. Very cute edit. But you're telling me he's practicing up on advanced mode to beat his kids on beginner mode? My guy, you have nothing to prove. Brain versus brain, I guess, is the game that I haven't known this entire time. It's Neil Patrick Harris. I'm going to give him an eight as well. And then we have Aquafina. I actually don't know who this is. Oh, no, Shang-Chi. Right. I know it was something Marvel. I know she had that really weird... My name is Aquafina, and I am in the movie Shang-Chi. Yeah, this was like a big meme. This is actually what I heard of her the first time. If you're just discovering this meme now, it started with Owen Wilson. They cut something he said really strange. Like you could tell he had like a whole string of sentences that they cut down into like one half sentence and it ended up sounding like this. And this is the first time for me in the Marvel universe. And that became a meme. And then almost immediately after, they did this to Aquafina. It's like the same thing. Hi, my name is Aquafina, and I am in the movie Shang-Chi. And I am in the movie. So that's that, And that's where I know her from. All right, now we're all caught up on Aquafina. Let's watch our Switch commercial. We're going to need you down on set in a bit. I just got to check in with Tom Nook real quick. They needed you five minutes ago. This is the exact same gag they used with Brie Larson. They are not very creative. Any, these turnips don't sell themselves. That's true, they don't. That means. <laughs> nice. You're getting excited over 610. Wait. Whoa, wait. Hold on. Okay. The current price for turnips is 610? I'm coming to Aquafina's Island and I'm bringing nips. <laughs> turn it, turn, turnips. I tried to. That is an, an insane price for turnips. And nips. <laughs> Hey, bud, it's go time. Literally every single commercial has used generic FaceTime. Did you have lunch? Because I'm serving a banana peel. <gasps> it's gonna be you next time. <laughs> Nintendo. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I've watched too many of them, but this one felt like a lot of improv one-liners about things. They were like, in this part, you're gonna get hit by a fireball. Oh. Oh, what's that? It's a fireball. And then they're like, okay, in this next part, you, you're gonna throw a banana peel. Did you have lunch? Because I'm serving a banana peel. I do have to say though, I kind of love the way she said this. The raspiness on banana peel. I'm serving a banana peel. <laughs> I love the way she said that. 10 out of 10 for the banana peel line because that was amazing. All right, that's all of them. I mean, all the ones that I found. What do you guys think? Are they fake? Are they real? Are they manufactured based on things that have actually happened? Or has Nintendo just hired celebrities to promote their product? I gotta say, Nintendo, I feel like if you really wanna make waves, I mean, put me in a commercial. You know, I love the Switch. You see the headlines, you know, popular Nintendo Switch YouTuber hired by Nintendo for a commercial. I Let's talk. I don't really have any point to this. I find these commercials super fake, but I mean, some of them are sweet. I think it's cool that Nintendo are in the position where they can hire celebrities to promote the Switch. I'm sure it does something because they keep doing it. That's it. Like the video, subscribe. First video of the year. I think that deserves a like, right? And I'll see you next time.